Hello and welcome to the Grimsby Institute. My name's Ryan Swart. I'd like to give you a brief outline of what the Institute can offer deaf people. I'll be telling you about some of the services and support provided to deaf people who are already on courses here. The Institute is committed to providing equal opportunities for all learners no matter what their background, religion or disability. Skilled communication support workers and British Sign Language interpreters are provided to support deaf learners throughout their courses. I myself am a learner here and so far I have really enjoyed my learner journey. I feel really included in everything. Would you like to see for yourself what life is like for deaf learners here? OK. Now, here we are at the Learning Resource Centre. As you can see, there are plenty of computers and loads of books. Your tutors may send you here to do research for an assignment or to look up information in a book. Or you could just come for yourself with your friends to do some work after your class is finished. For example, you might need to research something on the internet and discuss it with your classmates. Or you might help each other find the right information from books. If you're not confident with your English, you could come along with an interpreter who would support you. Now we are in the Additional Learning Support Department. This is the department that supports learners with any additional learning needs. For example, they can make arrangements for any support and concessions needed in exams. If you're worried about your English skills and feel nervous, please don't worry. You can be provided with an interpreter and also be given extra time for exams. Someone will contact the exam board on your behalf and get the agreement for the support that you need. You can also come here to Additional Learning Support to seek support with homework tasks. Your class tutor may have given you an assignment, research or whatever and you may feel that you can't do it entirely on your own. Maybe it's because you don't exactly understand what is required. Well here the work could be explained in more depth to you and that gives you the confidence to get on with it. Also, rather than really struggle with written work, you could be allowed to sign your work to an interpreter using British Sign Language and they could then word process it for you. I myself am a plastering learner and I'm at the end of my second year, so in September I'll be starting my Level 3 course, then after that I'll be finished. Let me tell you a bit about myself and how I came to choose to do plastering. Some while ago I worked as a British Sign Language tutor but I felt I needed a change. I wanted to do something different. At school I'd done technical drawing, art and sculpture and in that I used to work with Plaster of Paris. 
which is the same thing that's used to make fibrous plaster moulds. That's the reason I decided to focus on the fibrous side of plastering. I just thought it would suit me. I have been supported by a communication support worker and my tutor. My tutor is really very deaf aware and has been a wonderful support to me. I've thoroughly enjoyed my course. I found I can communicate well with other students on the course who are with me and we have a good time and lots of fun with plenty of workshop banter. Not that long ago I was involved in the match fit competition which was held in Leeds. It was a competition to find the best plastering learner in the Yorkshire and Humber region and I came second. I can tell you I was very pleased with that and I was quite proud of myself. There are more competitions coming up soon too. They really help to build confidence and help you to learn to cope with pressure. So now my message for you is don't worry about barriers. It's your future. Just go for it. Get yourself on a course. You've got a wide choice. Personally I'm self-employed and I have a young family. Being self-employed makes it so much easier to fit work around childcare. I have no boss to answer to or to decide how much I get paid. It's something that works for me. When you've been studying and need a break, you can come here to the refectory. You can have a drink and something to eat. Relax and chat to your friends before you get back to your class. There are far more things in college than just plastering though. There are lots of courses to choose from. Beauty, hairdressing, motor vehicle, brickwork, painting and decorating, electrical and, and many more. It's a long list. Next we're going to meet one of the deaf learners here. He's called Robert and he's doing a motor vehicle course. Let's go and meet him in the workshop. This is Robert. There's lots of complicated equipment here. I have no idea what it is. How do you feel about your course? Are you enjoying it? Yes, I'm enjoying it. It's been really interesting. I started on entry level and progressed through level one and two. Sometimes it's been a struggle because the English is really complex and of course it's not my first language. But they provided me with interpreting services and plenty of support throughout my time at the college. This has helped me visualise what I'm doing. Sometimes we have to be creative with signs because there isn't a specific sign for some things, but it's all worked out very well. Recently you've done two weeks work experience. Was it good? Do you think it was useful for you? What did you learn? It was difficult to find a placement. Most employers tend to label you and are a bit dubious about the health and safety implications of taking on a deaf person. College supported me in finding the placement to give me the opportunity to show people I am capable. I'm deaf, that's all. There's nothing wrong with my hands. For some tasks you need to be able to hear noises, but there's no problem with routine servicing and a whole host of other jobs. There's always a way round a difficulty. Why did you choose this particular course here? I picked this course over the others because of the interpreting support available and the opportunities it would give me. I've been interested in cars and how to fix them all my life, so I thought I would give it a go and that's why I started at entry level to see how it would go. I enjoyed that so I carried on and here I am today. That's four years altogether then. Have the staff and tutors treated you well? 
They've treated me just like any other student. I've not felt patronised. I've just been included in everything. Sometimes I need to ask for things to be repeated in class, but the tutors are always willing to patiently explain anything I don't understand. Hi, what's your name? Natasha, but Tash for short. Your sign name is Wears Glasses, isn't it? Yes, or Computer Gamer, because I'm a bit of an addict. All oh, right. Are you enjoying your course here? Oh, yes. I've learned and improved so many skills since we started last September. There's brickwork, plastering, tiling, painting and decorating. You're level one, aren't you? Yes, level one. Are there more skills to learn? No, that's it. This course finishes at the end of June and then I'll be doing a different course in September. It's been very interesting and I've been really impressed with my group. I started off with just a few friends. Some of them felt a bit at sea with a deaf classmate, but they got used to me and some of them have become interested in learning to sign too. Have you been happy with the support you've had? Oh yes, there are enough interpreters who can cover for each other when needed and also I've had a specialist teaching to help me with English. I've improved a lot compared with before. What about your tutors? There's been no problem there. They've had a bit of experience communicating with deaf people before. There's not really been any barriers. That's marvellous. So, when this course finishes, what are you interested in doing next? I want to do level 2 painting and decorating. Great! My aim is to get a high standard in painting and decorating and see where it takes me. You've got a background in art, haven't you? The two go together, don't they? Yes, I did art before, so I can incorporate the two, perhaps in children's bedroom design. You need a good eye for colour to pick paints and wallpapers that go together. Yes, you do. You need the right match of colours to go in different rooms. Do you have a message for any deaf out there? The Institute respects the learners. I would like deaf people to feel they are welcome here and to be assured they can rely on the tutors. You never know, they could even become tutors themselves one day. When it comes to finding employment or work experience, or setting yourself up in business, you'll get the necessary support. There's plenty of time to think about that later. I've only just started. Deaf people who want to improve their confidence in English can come here for some specialist tuition. Let's have a look. I found that really interesting. They were having to move on from an initial discussion in BSL to writing in English on the board. That's something that can be extremely challenging for deaf people, but here they are being supported in developing their skills. So, if you lack confidence in English, this could be something for you. If you want more information, please contact the Grimsby Institute on 0800 315 002 or by typing grimsby.ac.uk into your web browser.